What is good, friends? We are back with game two between Sidumas and Sabella. Looking at the teams real quick, Sidumas has already used this team before. It's um, Sub Call Mind Suicune with Protect Scald. Scarf and Hilly go with Toxic Spike, Power Gem, Sludge Wave, T Bolt, I think. Not sure about the last move, but I think it's T Bolt. Defensive Lander with Rocks, HP Ice, Earthquake, U Turn, I think. Spike Sparrow, um, I think Specs, Tapu Lele with Psy Shock, Psychic Moonblast, HP Fire, and Power Punch, HJK, Return, Lopani, and don't remember if it had Fake Out as well. But I remember that it had power up punch. And looking at Sabala's rain team, I think it's Specs Pelipper. He only has one Swift Swim Abuser. And obviously um, Ash Greninja, which it should be Ash, also takes advantage of the rain. But he only has one Swift Swim Abuser, so I think he's Specs Pelipper. Which means he does not have good Lopani switch-ins. Lopani is a big threat. Uh, I think it's the move Zapdos. Usually it's Z Thunder on rain teams with agility and then HP Ice. It could still have Heat Wave because... If it's uh, Pelipper Specs, the rain is only gonna last a lot, a few turns, like five turns. The Megina has to be AV. Looking at Sabala's team, um, he's way too weak to opposing Greninja and to um, opposing Megina is also a big threat. And Katana could be um, either Scarf or some SD variant. Not sure about that yet. So Lopani can just click Return here, because Return into High Jump Kick, two hit KO Swampert, and there's no point in faking out because you already two hit KO with Return into Fake Out, uh, Return into High Jump Kick. My bad. And in case Sabella goes into a um, Pelipper on the fake out, there's no point in faking out because return just two hit KOs, um, especially especially Specs Pelipper if it's offensive. Uh, Specs gets two hit KO'd by return easily. If she even fake out into return might kill that. So yeah, like I said, Sabella does not have good switches to the Lopani. He probably just has to go for Earthquake here. He could go for Rocks, but I think he has to Earthquake to weaken this Lopani because it's such a big threat to his team. And he needs the damage. I think Earthquake would do around 65 to 70. And returning to HJK just kills. There's no point in HJKing the first time, so you don't risk missing. And just in case he is defensive Pelipper and he goes to dead, like I said, return is the play to make for CD Mars. As he does just return, I assume we see the Earthquake do like 65, 70, 75. Wow, that did more than I thought it would. So now he has to high jump kick. But like I said, his Pelipper is most likely offensive, so he still cannot switch into high jump kick. And it just, just pick off the kill, and now he's gonna either go into his um, Greninja to threaten this, or he's gonna go to Pelipper. And um, Greninja would obviously threaten it with Water Shuriken, but Pelipper can also threaten it out because uh, Lopani cannot Oko Pelipper. And Sidumas can either go Ferrothorn or Nihiligo. If he gets Nihiligo in on a Hurricane, it would obviously be amazing, but he risks potentially... Uh, he risks Sabella going for a Water move. The thing is, he needs Ferrothorn health CB for um, Greninja and potentially for Megiana. So I think Sidima is gonna go into Nihiligo predicting the Hurricane. From Sabella I would either Hurricane or Scald, because like Scald is kind of a mid-ground play. In case he goes Ferrothorn, you get the chance to burn him. If he goes Nihiligo, you do a lot of damage. So let's see what happens. He does just go Nihiligo and he does get the play correct. And so Sabella is either gonna go to Megiana here or into Greninja. There's no point in getting up a Toxic Spike because it only hits the Greninja. And the Swampert is already dead. That's what, that would be the other one affected by Toxic Spikes. So Sidima is either gonna Power Gem. Oh, he's gonna double. Um, does he have a double that covers Greninja and Megiana? I'm trying to think. Uh, he could double into Ferrothorn here, predicting Greninja slash Megiana. That would be a good play for Sidumar for sure. His other option is just clicking Power Gem. Um, but like the, the, the Pelipper is locked into uh, Hurricane, so Sabella was never staying in there. So he goes hard Greninja. I think he maybe predicted Sidumar to double, or he predicted. I don't know. I think he predicted him to double because the Megina was super obvious and would not have taken any damage from Power Gem. So now Sidiuma is gonna go into Ferrothorn here because Scarf and Hiligo obviously get threatened out by Water Shuriken from Greninja, right? So Sabella could go for a Spike here predicting the Ferrothorn or he could double into Kartana. Um, yeah, either Spike or double into Kartana sounds like a good play, but he just Water Shurikens. Tries to catch Sidiuma on the stay in. And so now Sabella is obviously gonna go into Kartana here. Uh, Sidiuma is either gonna Spike here on the Kartana. Or he's gonna double switch. Um, what, what, what would his double switch be? I guess he could double into Lopani, but just spiking seems like a fine play to make for Siduma. Like Greninja is uh, not gonna stay in here, obviously. Katana seems like Sabala's best play. Yeah, I've already said what I wanted to say. He's either gonna spike or double to Lopani. That's what I would do. Spikes, get up some hazards, um, hits. Um, Three out of the five members left. Double to Lopani. Um, Lopani is a really big threat and getting it in on a double would be amazing. But the problem with double into Lopani is you don't know yet if the Katana is Scarf. So he's probably just gonna spike. 
because he doesn't know Katana's items. And if the Katana is Scav and he doubles to Lopani, that, that play doesn't work out for him. So it's just spiking is the safe play that gets him something out of the turn. And now he's either going to go Landris or Sekis Lopani. Even though Lopani is amazing, it's kind of low at range and he doesn't have good switch-ins to Kartana. I think he still wants the Nihiligo left because uh, Nihiligo is nice for the Zapdos and um, for the... Outspeeding the Greninja if it's not locked into Shuriken. I actually didn't calc if the Greninja is Specs. with 5% in Rain to Pharaoh. But if it's for Death Pharaoh, I could definitely see that being Specs. So it's sub Katana, probably sub SD Leaf Blade and then either Second Sword or some other... Um, uh, probably Second Sword. So Thiduma is... Just gonna break the sub here. There's no point in risking high jump kick missing, so it's just gonna power punch to break the sub. I know he has power punch because he has used this team before in tour. Or like other people have used this team, not only Siduma, multiple people have used this team. So he's just gonna kill him with Leaf Blade here, I would assume. And I guess Siduma has to go into his Landorus here to uh, get off the Intimidate. And the Landorus is HP Ith on this team to check Zygarde, so it does not have HP Fire like the team that he used in game one. So he. He's forced to Earthquake here, and Sabala can take advantage of that and go hard into Pelipper. He can either weaken the lander or Pelipper, but I assume he's just gonna go Pelipper here. And... Thiduma, yes, he needs his Ferrothon healthy, but I think Thiduma can afford to switch Ferrothon in once. Sabala's probably gonna hurricane again before because I think he thinks that Sidumas fears him going for the water move this time because first time he went Nihiligo and worked. So now he's gonna go Nihiligo knowing that the Pelipper is locked into Hurricane. But at least he caught the Ferrothon and did a lot of nice that was really great for Sabala, especially if he doesn't have Heatwave on Zapdos. Getting that Hurricane 49% on Ferrothon was great for him. So now he's th threatened out, he's just gonna power gem again here, I think, because he clicked it so fast. Magina takes nothing, but Thanks to that little spike, Megina is getting chipped down. So now he has a few options. He can either Volt Switch here, break in the Ferrothorn, or he can Ice Beam. Ice Beam would cover the Landris and would also do some nice damage to Ferro, I guess. If he has if he has Focus Blast or uh, Aura Sphere, which is not that common on AV Mag, then he can just Ice Beam because Ice Beam into the Fighting move would definitely kill the Ferrothorn. Otherwise, he still has to predict correct. So just go into Landris, trying to predict the Flurk and uh, the Volt Switch. And Sabella does Ice Beam, catches the Landris, and what is Sidimas gonna do now? He's either gonna have to go into Tabu Lele or maybe Ferrothorn, hope that the Megina doesn't have a move to hit his Ferrothorn. But the thing is, he's Ice Beam, most likely Volt Switch, Fleur Cannon, and his last move is probably Iron Head or um, whatchamacallit. Maybe HP Fire. So Tabu Lele can definitely live any one hit unless it has flash can iron hat does like 70 ish uh, i think plus one floor can maybe that's like 90 90 95 but it definitely doesn't oko so specs tabu lele could probably two hit ko megina with psy shock that's the only reason why you would go to tabu lele if you spec psy shock you can two hit ko because psychic obviously doesn't ko it's av megina has great spit death and yeah the reason why tabu lele can live a plus one floor can is because they don't run max special attack megina they run a lot of spit death to better check stuff like um, Ash Greninja. So if he has Flash Can, he can kill the Lele, but every other move cannot Oko. Iron Head wouldn't kill, Flur Can wouldn't kill. So CDMAS only plays obviously Psy Shock. That's the only thing that would 2 hit KO the Megina. HP Fire would not 2 hit KO uh, AV Mag. So Sidima is obviously just gonna click Psy Shock here. What is Sabala gonna do? I think he's just gonna click Flur Can unless he has Flash Can, yeah. Those are pretty much the plays. And yeah, Sabala can win this with his agility zap, this maybe late game. Especially if he has Heatwave for Ferrothorn. And if. Does he outspeed Scarf and Heligo after the agility? I'm not sure about that. I think he should. So there's a Psy Shock, and we do see that it's definitely a 2 hit KO. And he has Flurken, and it does not kill. Double Lily is amazing speed death coming through. So now um, Sabala can go into his Greninja here as Siduma doubles out into Ferrothorn, anticipating the Greninja. Really great play by Siduma because he also gets some leftovers on his Ferrothorn. So I think Siduma can maybe power up here, or. Sabala should switch into his Katana, right? Greninja is still nice to have with Water Shuriken for the um, Nihiligo. Yeah, with Dark Pulse for Kuhn, and that speeds the Lele. So I think he's gonna go Kartana. If I recall correctly, his Kartana was at 75 because it used sub, so it should be at like 60-ish. Oh, he goes Pelipper, that works as well. I thought he would go Kartana, but Siyuma makes a really great play, doubling into the Nihiligo that covers the Pelipper and the Kartana, I think, because 
Scarf and Healy go, um, I think would kill Katana after Spike especially because Katana's bedef is trash and I think part, I mean, I'm, don't quote me on that, but I think it would kill Katana because Katana's bedef is so poor. And obviously the Pelipper is threatened out by Power Gem. I think Sabala is going to sack his Megira here because after a Spike, he's definitely, um, if he doesn't get Oko, he gets 2 hit killed after Spike by Power Gem. So Power Gem definitely gets a kill here. Um, I don't think Sabala can avoid that. He's going to have to sack something. Um, he's probably gonna sack Megina and then go into Greninja. No, actually, Greninja doesn't work because Psychic Terrain is up. Psychic Terrain is still up. Well, he does just sack the Pelipper, okay. I thought he would sack the Megina because what is the Megina doing that is so low? Wait, why did he go Greninja? Sidimas is just gonna click Power Gem and kill him because he, oh, okay, he forgot. He forgot about Psychic Terrain because the rain is above. Like, uh, that happens to me too because the weather is above your terrain and then you don't see it. So you, you have to pay attention to what is what it says at the left corner thingy. So, oh, Megina was healthier than I thought it was. Never mind. Maybe ne maybe Megina could have taken two. I thought it was at like 12 after the spikes, but it's way healthier. Um, so I think C2 Mars is gonna switch into Ferrothorn. I mean, he could stay in, but Nihiligo is nice to have for Zapdos. But the thing is, even if he keeps Nihiligo, I think it still dies to Giga Volt Havoc from Zapdos. Because it's already pretty low now. Um, I think it took two hurricanes. Damn, that's crazy. Like, Nihiliko has great spadev, but Spex Pelipper is still brought that low with two hurricanes. Yeah, I think he has to switch into Ferrothorn or into Suicune. He's not staying in. Like, Nihiliko beats. Can still potentially beat Zapdos if, if he can get rid of the Z Thunder. Uh, if Rain runs out, Thunder can myth as well, obviously. So, yeah, Ferro or Suicune, what is the play? Master Siduma. Mr. Mr. Oh, you goad. Oh yeah, Sabala is up 1-0 if you have not seen game 1. So if Sabala wins this, he moves on to uh, Ulti Luda's finals and he would face Karen Smith there. So Sidima has a lot of pressure here. Um, if he loses this game, he's out of Ulti. He had a great run. Um, both players had a great run, no matter who wins. So he goes, ta uh, he sacks Tapu. I forgot if Tapu Lilly was at 5%. So he had Iron Head instead of Flash Can. That's pretty common at the moment to beat Command Clef and to beat opposing Command Megiana. I mean, it's mainly for Comment Megiana, not not that much for Comment Clef, more so for Comment Megiana. So Suicune so doesn't even kill with Skull. Now the Megiana dies to um, Spike, I think. But doesn't this jab, that does just win now? Like, he, he agilities here. He agilities here and then he wins, right? Especially if he has Heat Wave. Um, even if Siduma. Um, He's, he goes for Scald, I assume, tries to get a burn. That's the agility, so he outspeeds the Nihiligo now. Even the Siduma um, can go Nihiligo and then pivot into Ferrozone on the Z move. Uh, he still loses. I don't see him winning anymore. Um, so, Sabala still has to hit a Thunder here, though, if he doesn't want to waste the Z move. So, I guess, yeah, yeah, Siduma can still win if he dodges the Thunder. Let's see, let's see. So, he already wasted two Thunder PP because of pressure. I think Thunder has 16 PP though, so it's fine for Sabala. He just has to hit the Thunder. Yeah, Sidima has to go off dodge, I think. Going Ferrothorn doesn't do anything, especially if this has Heat Wave. Bam. This is probably over now. He connected and Nihiligo is gonna come out and Z move kills the Nihiligo, so like. But if he goes into Faro on a Z move, then his Faro gets low. Like I don't see I don't see how Sidima can win this. Because if Pharaoh dies and he comes back to Nihiligo, um he would still have to take like a Thunder or some other chip damage. And yeah. Nah actually maybe he has a slight chance then. But if he stays in here on the Gigavolt Havoc, he guaranteed loses. I like I don't think it matters what he what he does. I think Sabala has this game. But by by staying in with Nihiligo, it's guaranteed that Sabala wins. So Sidima said GG already. Let's see if he has Heat Wave. We just forfeited. We don't even get to see if he had heat wave. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Sabala um, takes the series, and he moves on to. Oh, you said he almost thundered there. Yeah, exactly. He didn't want to waste the Z. I can definitely get that. Siduma said, uh, "Okay, he thought he had to go off choke. He can always sub on Ferro. Exactly. Katana can always sub on Ferrothorn. I did not explain that optimally, but whenever Katana comes in on Ferrothorn, he subs, and then the game ends pretty much. Yeah."
Did he have enough health to make a sub after Spike and attack Iron Bob? I'm pretty sure he still had enough health for that. Oh yeah, he still had to dodge Thunders. But thank you guys for watching. Sabella faces Karen Smith in OLG Loser's Bracket Finals and the winner of this will play versus CL in Grand Finals. And goodbye. Congrats to Sabella for moving um, on. Pop.